we saw the flyer and we, we found it on Facebook and we're like, oh, performance art. We don't actually have any idea what it's about. We can't read the language or anything, but we're gonna actually try this. And we went in here and being kind of skeptic in the beginning or even with it out because it's been a very special opening um, and being led into that room, this really old historic building and experiencing all that, this artful performance, this resonance within its halls was an amazing experience and I really really enjoyed it and thank you very much for that. In the beginning it was a bit frightening and then it turned out to be more playful and at some point I felt that I could trust both of the artists. The arena, that part of this ritualistic part that really worked I, I really liked it. I felt like this solstice, uh, solstice ritual. All in all, great resounding of this building and this place. For me, it reminded me some of the rituals of the Amazon uh, wild forests. There was some parts that really connected me some some sort of other forces. I'm so grateful for this wildness because. Uh, Nowadays it's really important to, to be as you are and uh, to be able to express it. So I felt this expression and it uh, really inspired me. Um, it was a very magical experience and it felt like being transported back to childhood, like a fairy tale and kind of magic and a very cool way to connect to people and maybe connect to yourself in a way. And I think that with every room and with every experience I kind of started to put everything together and see how this all works out and what is the sound of Riga Circus. And I love the feeling that everyone contributed in this and we kind of all worked together as a team and went through all everything together and that was something new for me and I think for Latvians as a concept itself and yeah I loved it. Uh, I think it's uh, about connection yeah I really wanted to sing with you. <laughs> There's a singing and a hum humming or it, it was brilliant it was I thought that I could stay there over there for hours and like just mm, this performance is very well connected with this place, with Riga Circus and its history and this industry of entertainment and uh, animal abuse and the supremacy of human being, etc., which was very well deconstructed in this performance. And the feeling, uh, sometimes may, uh, wake up the feeling that I am uh, like a circus animal which has a whole life in this building and in the, uh, there's some, some things and the training and I got these from this I feel dark and uh, human, human voice is beautiful. It was a very um, liberating experience and it was also really interesting to see this building from the inside, all this pretty creepy places um, with the rusty ceilings and walls and uh, the both the atmosphere and the magic that these two ladies create um, I found it um, scary liberating refreshing and weird in a good way uh, that was beyond words <laughs> and uh, such a nice energy and now I I am fulfilled not only with the with the circus energy but also with the, all the people that were around and uh, very empowering energy you have to let yourself go and you have to really listen in to what you are hearing you might be surprised and you will be surprised anyway